anything in a room can become a focal point if you use the right color. Now, this is a wicker chair I picked up at a thrift store for about $10. It's in pretty good shape. It's a little dirty and has a few repairs that are needed right here on one of the legs, but because it's wicker, most likely it would stand out a little bit in any room anyhow, but where do you see the statement I'm going to make with the color I'm painting this chair? Before the paint, though, I have to get rid of all of the dirt and dust. Obviously a much bigger challenge with something like wicker, so I'm hoping the air compressor will blast some of it out. If not, a little old-fashioned scrubbing will hopefully do the trick. We're using this denatured alcohol. Seems to work pretty well. It evaporates quickly, so it's going to make it easier for me to be ready to paint in just a little while. That evaporation is also important to keeping the wicker in good shape. The longer it stays damp, the more likely it will start coming apart. Speaking of that, after it's clean, I fire up the hot glue gun to take care of that caning that's coming loose on one of the legs. I don't want any excess here because the hot glue won't take the paint very well. Finally, it's time to open up a can of sunshine on this chair. With something like wicker, you almost can't paint it from too many different angles, but you do have to be careful to put the paint on in light, thin layers. Otherwise, you'll create all kinds of drips trying to get into the nooks and crannies. A few things to think about when you're doing something like this. First of all, don't let any of my producers pick the colors for your house. Next, make sure that it's nice and dry before you allow anyone to use it. At least a couple days, and you can speed that up a little bit if you use a fan to blow across it for several hours. Another thing, make sure you save any of your leftover paint and store it in a good place so that you know where it is in case you need to touch up the chair a little bit later.